Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. If you failed the FE exam once or even more than once, then here are five tips that you can follow to overcome failure, make progress, and eventually pass your FE exam. Oh yeah, everybody now. Tip number one, accept the situation. It's important to recognize that failing an exam is a common experience. Everyone has setbacks and failures in their lives, and it's how you respond to those setbacks that determine your success. So instead of getting discouraged, try to see this as an opportunity for you to learn and improve. And remember, the FE exam is a tough test that covers a wide range of material, and it's, it is designed to challenge even the most knowledgeable and well-prepared students. So if you're feeling disappointed, just remember that you're not alone. And many people have failed the FE exam before and eventually passed it. Also, failing the FE exam does not mean that you're a failure. It just means that you need to take a different approach to your studies. It's also a chance for you to reassess your strengths and your weaknesses and to come up with a new plan for how you're going to succeed. Tip number two, assess. Take some time to reflect on what went wrong. Was there something specific that tripped you up? Did you study enough? Did you use the right study materials? Take some time to think about what went wrong and make a plan to address those issues. Now, when looking back, try not to judge yourself. You just want to know some of the mistakes that you did so that you can learn from them and improve. Tip number three, analyze. When you fail the FE exam, the NCS will send you a diagnostic report that shows how you did overall. This can be very helpful, so try to look at it and try to identify your strengths and your weaknesses. And when you start studying again, make sure to focus a little bit more on your weaknesses, but it's also important to study your strengths as well. If you guys need help with analyzing your diagnostic report, feel free to email it to us. We receive many of these reports and we can send you guys a feedback on how you did overall. If you guys liked any of these tips, please don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps the channel out immensely. All right, moving on to tip number four, approach. Now it's time to look at your study habits and study materials and figure out a new approach that will help you pass your FE exam. You have to figure out what's working for you and what's not working for you. You can't keep doing the same thing and expect different results. As Mahul, an engineer student once said, repeated mistakes lead to failure. Don't keep doing the same mistakes. Change your approach and figure out what's working for you. Also guys, just because something works for a friend or colleague, it doesn't mean it has to work for you. We are all different. We have different lives, different situations. We learn differently. We have different backgrounds. So quiet all the noises out there and ask yourself, what do I need to do to learn the subjects so I can pass my FE exam? And a lot of times, you know the answer. You know yourself more than anyone else. So figure out the study materials and the study habits that will help you pass your FE exam and just do it. And it might take you some time to get there and you might have to do trial and error, but that's okay as long as you're progressing and you're getting closer to passing your FE. And tip number five, ask. The last thing to remember is not to be afraid to ask for help. There are so many people who can help you with this journey and you don't have to do it alone. Consider getting a course that offers a community support or joining a study group. You can also reach out to us and we are here to help you pass your FE. Guys, try to stay positive. It can be tough failing an exam, but it's not the end of the world. It's just a setback. So take some time to regroup assess your situation, and then get back to work. With a little bit of hard work and determination, you can turn this setback into an opportunity for growth and success. Also guys, don't give up. We had a student, Malik, who graduated from Pakistan in 2012, and he failed his FE exam six times. Then he found us, and then five months later, he passed his FE. Two months after that, he passed his PE on his first try, and then six months later, he passed his SE as well. Now, I love sharing Malik's story because it just shows that once you figure out what you're doing wrong and you accept failure, you can accomplish anything. Now, Malik turned his situation around in just one year and a half. And I'm sharing his story with you so that I'm hoping that it inspires you and you don't give up. You guys, you can do this. You can pass your FE exam. Just make sure that you don't dwell in the past and don't focus on the future. Come up with a new plan. 
show up every day and just follow your plan and make sure to always assess your plan and make sure that you are learning and making progress. And if you guys do that for the next four or five months, you will be ready to pass your FE exam. And again, if you guys need help with your FE preparation, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. We will do everything we can to help you guys pass your FE exam. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great productive week and I will see you guys on the next video. A la prochaine. Oh yeah,